Welcome to a Science Olympia General Vehicle Lessons and Tips. This video will cover vehicle braking, stopping at a target distance, why braking is important, the typical wing nut braking method, the math required for braking with examples. First, the information presented here is based on the typical vehicle event. The information is intended as a learning aid. Why is braking important? The typical vehicle event awards a better score for the closer to a target point the vehicle stops. A typical vehicle track will define a start point and a target point. The start point is where the vehicle is placed at the start of the run. The target point is the vehicle stopping goal. This distance can vary for each tournament. A good braking system is very important to achieving a better score. This allows a team to control how far the vehicle will travel. Here is shown the common wing nut braking method. Your team's design and components may vary from this design, but there are common parts. Wing nut, a threaded rod for an axle, wing nut rotation preventer. This prevents the wing nut from rotating as the wheel and the axle spin. This can be achieved through several methods. As the wheel rotates, the wing nut moves towards a locking point. The combination of the locking point and the wing nut rotation preventer, the axle and wheel will stop all forward rotation, hence creating a braking operation for the vehicle. Let's discuss how this helps during a vehicle event. Here is a typical vehicle and an event track. I put a mark on one of the front wheels. As the vehicle moves down the track, you can see the wheel rotates. You can use this rotation to determine the distance traveled. Let's look at the vehicle moving down the track. This time I'm going to add an arrow for each time the wheel makes a full rotation. The distance between each arrow is the circumference of the wheel. The formula for circumference is the wheel diameter times pi. We can use a DVD wheel as an example. The DVD has a diameter of 12 centimeters. The circumference would be 12 centimeters times pi, which equals 37.7 centimeters. Therefore, every time the wheel and the axle make one complete revolution, the vehicle would have traveled 37.7 centimeters down the track. Here is an example track that is 10 meters between the start point and the target point. We need to calculate how many wheel revolutions are required for 10 meters. This can be calculated by dividing the target distance by the wheel circumference. For our example, 10 meter target distance is divided by 37.7 centimeter circumference. Make sure to match units. In this case, we are going to use 1,000 centimeters divided by 37.7 centimeters, which equals 26.5 turns. This number of turns can be used in combination with the wing nut braking method. With the wheel in the locked position all the way against the locking point, rotate the wheel backwards while counting full revolutions. For our example, the wheel is rotated backwards for 26.5 turns. This will cause the vehicle's wheel and axle to lock after the set number of wheel rotations forward. The wheel turn math can be used to calculate wheel turns for different diameters. Your team should generate this table for your wheel diameter at each target distance. For multiple reasons, the calculated wheel turns will not perfectly match the actual required wheel turns in a competition. Those reasons are beyond this video. Your team will need to perform testing to learn the cause of those differences. Hopefully this video has been helpful. For all your vehicle events, testing and more testing is highly recommended. Remember to record all your testing results. This will greatly help you and your team determine how the vehicle is performing, make improvements, and help find issues. Thank you for watching and good luck in your competitions.